Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tipper Betting Tips. I hope you're having a fantastic evening and you enjoyed the racing out at Gravel, even though it was very tricky. We had five winners in all the selections and we went one out the bar pot, one out the PA, so we were very stiff. Our value bet nearly held on to win at 14 to 1. I think it went out to 20 to 1. Paid 3 Rand 20 a place, so that was nice value there. And we're very disappointed with our best bet. So we move on to today's racing at Gravel. And we've got the Warrigal that's going to go through the card with us. So sit back and enjoy. I'll hand over to the Warrigal now. Thank you, Del Boy. Racing comes to us from Gravel Poly on Monday, the 1st of November. It's an eight race program. First take of the bar part, early starts, 11.30 a.m. Let's get your bets on early. Tricky first leg to start off the day. First leg of the bar part. Narrow first selection is number seven, Fateful Mistress. Could improve recent form. Stayed on nicely over this course and distance last time. The six horse has come out in one. And the previous run to that, the fourth, the sixth and the eighth horses have come out in one. Tristan Gordon, Gordon takes the ride here for Paul Gasby. But just remember, it is an open race, so it will be my narrow first selection. Because this... Five-year-old Bay Mare has had 20 runs. Hopefully she gets it right. So for second, we're going to go for number eight, Spirit of Dakar. Two good comeback runs. Will be spot on for this. And should be the major threat here. Still lightly raced. Marco van Rensburg retains the ride. Just note, blinkers have been fitted. So that is a little bit of a concern. Otherwise, I would have probably chosen this four-year-old pay fully for first. But it must be respected. For third, we're going to go for number 10, Denisa. Moderate last two runs after a decent effort over this course and distance. Went just under three lengths to Heaven Sent. At an ice price of 18 to 1. Could improve back over the shorter trip. And for fourth, we're going to go for a likely race number two. Corner Crusade, Rachel Venica jumps back on board. Tries the extra ground again, runs fresh. And may full back end of Trifexes and Quartets. Judging by the weather for tomorrow, looks like it's going to be a headwind. So it will give the, the horses that come off the pace a chance. In the running. Race two is a maiden plate over 1400 meters for fillies. And my first selection here is number four, Miss Liela, Gareth Wright for Garth Puller. Last time jumped over this course and distance for the first time. And from a wide draw, was just out the placings. Prior to that, had a good run of, of a shorter. Jumps from a good draw today. And hopefully could get it right. For second, we're going to go for number seven, Flag of Wren. Warren Kennedy jumps on board. Interesting jockey booking again for Dennis Bosch. 
if you look at uh, the last run, Six Horse came out and won. The three-year-old chestnut filly gives the impression that she will enjoy the extra and could pose the threat here. For third, we're going to go for the Justin Nay trained number eight, Tuntoretta. Brings Western Cape form, is lightly raised. Symphony of Light came out and won again. And then on, on, on her debut run, the second and fifth horses have come out and won. Trials of Polly for the first time. Still lightly race and could make big improvement. For third, sorry, for fourth, we're going to go for number six, Cashew. Run up last time over the mile at this track. After setting the pace, drops back and trip and must be respected again with Tristan Godin aboard. This note, number two, Crazy Blues, to be ridden by Anton Marcus's first time here. He's currently at 4 to 1. And just note that Mr. MJ Ferreira had three winners. On Sunday. So include. This. Daughter of William Longsword. Race 3. It's a merit rated 66 handicap. 1400 meters. For fillies and mares. Current scratching. Number 8. My first selection here. And a very, very tricky start to the first leg of the pick six will be number six, Boogie Shoes. Last time, jump from a wide draw was never in the race. But prior to that, ran a good race over the, the mile at this track. And if the pace is on, we'll be flying at them late. For second, we're going to go for number five, Royal Kitty. Always gives of her best. Has placed over this course in distance. And with Rachel on board, taking two and a half cages off the back of this five-year-old bay mare. Could be the lovely contender here. For third, we're going to go for number three, Stingray. Moderate handicap debut against the boys. Comes back against the girls after winning a maiden over 1200 at the Maritzburg track. Has scope. And is currently at 8 to 1. Must be respected from a good draw of 3. With Kenya Sakaya jumping back on board for Glenn Kotsen. For fourth, we're going to go for number 1, Symmetry. One who made in well over 1750, the Maritzburg track. Makes a poly debut. Jumps from pole position. Still has lots of scope. Include. Race 4. Is a merit rate at 66 handicap. Over 2,000 meters. Nine runners carded. Tricky race. My first selection will be number 7. Smart William. Is proven over the course and distance. Nice consistent form. Two of his three wins have come at this track. And Donovan Dillon knows this son of Mambo and Seattle very well. 
for second. We're going to go for number four. Coromandel has been jumping from very wide draws recently. Staying on nicely last time over the 2-2 on the turf. Has one at this track, but yet to win over course and distance. Could threaten here. For third, we're going to go for number five, Rocky Coast. Decent last run over shorter on the grass. Has won at this track before. Did run a good second on the 23rd of August to double Gemini. Carries a handy galloping motor of 54 and a half. For fourth, we're going to go for number one, Star Crusade. Moderate recent form. Has placed at this track, but has never won. And may fill back end of traffic and quartets. Race five. Is a merit race at 66 handicap over 2,000 meters, 10 runners carded. And this is where my value bet kicks in. Number one, Ancient State. Keegan DeMello retains a ride for Nathan Cotson. Has been jumping from wide draws. Gets ball position. And currently at 9 to 1. Could get a right here. For second, we're going to go for number 8. Magari. Cannon Pruitt jumps on board, takes four kgs off the back of this five-year-old Bay Gelding. Has come back to good, good recent form. And if the pace is on, could be flying up late. For third, we're going to go for number five, the appeal. Nor the last run. When the jockey fell at the start, had good consistent form, and with Carl Stratham taking one and a half cages off, could also be in the shake-up. For fourth, we're going to go for number seven, Fever. Also came back to his best last time with Kennedy aboard. Kennedy retains the right. Include race six is a merit trail at 71 handicap over 1200 meters for fillies and mares. 10 runners carded. Very open race here. Go as wide as possible. My narrow first selection will be number nine star choice. Run up in her last three runs. Should enjoy the conditions if the pace is on as well. Marco van Rensburg takes her off for Frank Robinson, currently at 6 to 1. For second, we're going to go for number 2, 3 Hearts. The 3 old chestnut filly won it, who made in well over this distance on the turf track. Makes a poly debut. Marcus retains a ride, and if enjoying the poly, could be the danger. For third, we're going to go for number five, Sophia Erin. Was he any jumps back on board? Nor the, the last run at this track, that was slightly shorter. If this daughter, if this four year old Bay Philly gets it right today, if you look at the run on the 28th of June, earlier this year. When a good second to loving the victory. Could also be flying at them late. For fourth, we're going to go for number eight, Maiden's Prayer. Finally got a right again last time. 
over the course and distance. Was only penalized two pounds for the win. Must be respected in this wide open affair. Race seven is a merit rate at 66 handicap over 1200 meters. This is where my best bet kicks in. Number nine, Night Warrior. Warren Kennedy jumps on board for Dennis Bosch. Has been threatening lately and should enjoy the conditions. Hopefully, Warren gets it right. And for the winner's box for us. For second, we're going to go for number one, White Cedar. Consistent recent form. But yet to win over the course and distance. Jumps from pole position. It could be the the major threat here in this race. For third, we're going to go for number five. Quest for the best. Last time, jump from a very wide draw. Gets the services of... Keegan DeMello has one over this course in distance. Could be in the shake-up here as well. And for fourth, we're going to go for number seven, Bedazzle Joker. Moderate recent form. But two of his course in distance wins have come here. On the poly and may full back end of triplexes and quartets. And race eight was a merit rated 66 handicap over 1200 meters. 11 runners carded. I always say put the field in the last leg of pick six and exotics here. Narrow first selection here will be number three, Life Goes On. Had a decent had a decent run last time over the course in distance. With Warren Kennedy on board again and jumping from a good draw of three. Hopefully gets it right. For Clinton Binder in this wide open affair. For second, I'm going to go for number 11, DED. This four year old Bay Gelding had excuses last time, but a good prior run over the course and distance. Jumps from a wide draw. And could be flying at them late. For third, we're going to go for number six, What a Blast. Good recent form. Always gives up his best. Donovan Dillon has got to know this son of Visionary very well. Could be in the shake up as well. And for fourth, we're going to go for number nine, The Gaul. Jumped from a very wide draw last time. I was slightly further at this track. We'll enjoy the drop back and trip to the 1200. And there's upset potential at best. Thank you. And back to Del Boy. Thanks for that great input, the Warrior Hopefully we can have a cracking day out at Gravel. And we can uh, make some nice tidy profit. It's an eight race program. The Warrickles tip to Barpot, take a percentage, he says. He's also tipped to PA, take a percentage as well. We've got no bankers in them. So that shows you it could be quite tricky. Our best bet is race seven, number nine, Night Warrior at seven to two. Nice value there. 
And the value bet is race five, number one, ancient state at nine to one. Also a great value there. Let's hope we can clean up today out at the gravel track. And remember, um, make sure that you take those percentages in the bar pot and the PA. Um, if you like our content, please like, subscribe and share. Come on, guys, we haven't hit 100 likes yet. Let's try and hit 100 likes tomorrow or today um, out at the gravel track. Um, remember, enjoy, have fun, break a leg. Cheers for now.